Okay, welcome to another Death Mark stream. Actually, the thing is, this this one's gonna be this one's gonna be fast. I'm pretty sure. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna get the true ending, and then after that, I mean, no, no, yeah, we're gonna get the true ending, and then to get that, we just need to reload. We're gonna we need to use uh. We need to use a save that managed to get the good with a good ending. And no one died as well, which we did manage to get that in the last playthrough. So I just need to use that save, start from chapter six, and then there will apparently there will be new new prompts, new decisions we can choose. And that will lead us to the true ending. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fast, because for the most part, we're just gonna breeze through text we already read. But for okay, so here's, 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 what gonna, here's what's gonna happen. Chapter six, I'm not gonna give, skip chapter six, but chapter seven, that's when I'm gonna skip it because chapter seven is, is insanely long. <laughs> so let me just uh, type this in. Uh, look more to win. Okay, here we go. Chapter selection. This one, chapter seven, the end. We need to start at chapter six, like I mentioned, and then press yes. And apparently, like the game gives you a way to increase your success rate. I mean, whenever there's a suspensive box. If you say yes here, it's going to increase the chance to 100%. Making levels and items useless. <laughs> and so yeah, I, I like it this way. I freaking hate the RNG. Like I mentioned during the last stream, I freaking hate the RNG. We're not going to change the allies' fate. Because we, we need them all alive for this playthrough. Hello. Ito here. Hi, and thanks for your help last night. What do you want? Actually, Mr. Yasuo called me this morning to tell me something. Tell you something? What? Oh, no, no. The part figure is getting darker and darker each day. You should keep back away from this now. Kind from Switcher, it's like you're so those words carry some serious weight, no wonder he's scared. He has some chance of being great help, but with all the with all the people who lost in this case, there's just no way I can try to talk to him into his king's life. Help me out. Very good help. Thanks for all the work you've done you did for me. I'll get back to teaching you how to okay. Send, send. It's just, it's just Ada being concerned. Leave the match and head to Kornihara Academy. I have to report last night. That's last night's event in particular. Only. Enter the special building and walk towards the infirmary. As usual, there's no one inside. Better go to the faculty room, Mr. Conway is waiting for me. This afternoon, class are still in session. The faculty room looks emptier than before. Mr. Kanoe is sitting in the back of the room with my arrival. Rear Yashiki. His voice sounds weak for some reason. His condition doesn't look so good. This might be the part where it might not be visible, but this might this part might be the time wherein they got uh 
possessed by that bug. But again, it's not visible, but it, it's there, probably. Goodness gracious. First we made in here, Koshi, now to Kakuta. These students have gone missing under my watch. And yet again, we failed to collect our servant. Let's just keep our mouth shut. We don't have any excuses, and he does not want to hear it. You can fire me if you like. No, let's have the part of them. Mr. Conway falls silent at my words. You're right. No matter how many valid complaints I have, it doesn't change the fact that you're the only hope I have for effectively finding the situation. They're an over overly exaggerated side. I understand the situation he's in. Plus, what else can I do other than threaten him to stop bothering me? However, one more victim and you'll be dismissed. Someone has backed me into a corner. She's special to you, especially in regards to Doryo and Kinokawa. But she's mis misunderstanding the situation. The last chance understood. Yeah. Good, that's all for me then. Not me down, Yashki. Funnily enough, to get I mean to get the true ending, we need to do something to Miss Sunshine or Miss Sakamoto. What do we do now? They want to start doing some investigating, but I have no idea where to start. The poet who's still hiding at Konehara Academy is playing the cards as well. There don't seem to be any clues left. You have to pick one spot that still has some ties to them. Talk Tower seems the prime spot. During summer vacation, Dory and Michio saw the female doll in the red dress there. At that moment, their bodies were afflicted with a curse. The part was the only one was the one who caused it, and the tower is probably connected with them. There might be something in there. Where can't find the key? Let me go visit her. Moses, my presence right away enters to me. So we're here today. Heard from Kakoto from Michiho. That was really unfortunate. Yes, I've been looking for it everywhere. So I, I, I'm guessing she's lying here. No, not not just guessing. She's definitely lying here. Maybe she already has the key, or maybe the door is spiritually locked. And the spirit, a spiritual lock is the best kind of lock. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm going stories like this. What would you do that? Trying to feed you, feed you clues. Intentionally feeding you clues. Thank you for help. Can okay, tell me the details for more? I'm not gonna read this, but I might as well just make a summary here. It's just about the um, first headmaster's collection, antiques. One of them including the the doll, the, the doll with the red dress, which apparently that doll housed 
the Ryu Michio and Himeko or Dorio's souls. And apparently it's missing. No, no, no. More like... They put it in a different dimension. The part I mean. There are people who have been had seen the female though, but now when she's moving. I guess I'm the only one who's witnessed it. Gotta go soon. Thanks, Dorio. Hope the information could help you in some way. I have to wonder though, why did she give that information? I mean, it, it, all of all of her actions are always for the test. When I sit in the library, I find a girl who's wearing casually the place. So, Kako didn't come to school today, you know anything about it? Are we gonna lie? Just chilling here, got no place to go. Not, in, not, not after I... Not after I learned how terrifying the there was. Then you should go home, didn't the teacher tell you not to hang out after class? Who knows, maybe something weird will happen to you again. What's up, what? What's about to go home anyways? My well, just feels really heavy some somehow today. I wonder why it's not visible right now. The the bugs. The bugs with the creepy face. The faculty room next. Okay, here's the critical part. Get the true ending. We need to do something here. Hello, Miss Sunshine. Still playing your school, are you, Mr. Yashiki? He asked Mr. Konoe to do away with you, though. Don't worry, he heard of you. He heard you. He told me I'll be dismissed if I make another mistake. Not Konoe is far too lenient. If an incident occurs, it'll be too late. We need to deal with this problem quickly. What problem are you referring to? We need to choose this, the Dorio and Kinokawa thing. I don't know what kind of nonsense you've concocted in the last couple of years, but I assure you there's nothing going on. I have no intention of doing anything untoward with any students. True enough! He did not. Yet an incident can still occur even without a teacher having any in such intentions. Just like Mr. Hiroses. Hiroses or teacher somewhat told me about when I was investigating Slith Maori Kashima. Both Kashima and Manabe had a crush on him. Which spiraled into tragic, tragic consequences. I want Doryo and Kinokawa not to get close to you. But seeing them defend you so fervently. This witch is getting dangerous, that's what my intuition as a woman is telling you. And your intuition is wrong. Because, uh, so, the reason she got killed is she's way too much on our neck. Uh, hopefully, describe that properly. And she, the, the reported targeted her because of that. So, here's the new prompt. Insists it's a misunderstanding. Try to convince her. The default path is... We're just gonna insist it's a misunder misunderstanding. But this is the new one. Try to convince her. The reason why both of them are defending me. Among all the teachers, I'm the only one who's taking their concerns seriously and pursuing the reported. It's reported nonsense again, really. Do you think you have carte blanche to do anything just because you're missing the reported? Takai, Izumi, Hirokoshi, Kakuta, Korkonoira, 
Konehara students who have mysteriously disappeared in a short period of time. I'm sure you realize on how unnatural that looks, don't you? And that makes her shut up. I don't ask you to believe in spirits. But you need to understand that I'm the only I'm the only adult here that's trying to do something about those students' disappearance. Mr. Yashiki. And they're just trying to help me. They want to bring peace and normality back to the school. And they're trying to help in whatever way they can. That's all that's going on. Sakamoto leaves the faculty room without saying anything. <laughs> so, yeah, we managed to convince, I mean, it looks like we managed to convince her. Managed. Uh, I mean, we don't know. And with that, certain parts of the chapter, as well as the next chapter, assuming I do the next prompt correctly, something's definitely gonna change. Welcome back, Mr. Yashiki. What are you doing here, Abe? Couldn't a while ago, you better go home now. We don't hear we don't hear from him anymore. Like he did back off in chapter seven. He's saying listening to me more. Don't forget to meet up my report. There's something I'd like to tell you. It will be my final act of assistance. I shall cease pursuing the report after this. He's just gonna say... Um, he saw her death. His death. Using his magical eyes. And like his, ma his master told him, if he abandons the case now... He won't die. You see, he's gonna give us the first clue regarding the the party's origin. Something about the M town getting wiped out, which now we we know we know what's the what's the origin. It is you know what if you ask me it's okay I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it but it is overkill. They really didn't need to wipe out the whole village. I mean, they could have just wiped out the anyone who's involved in the ritual. <laughs> Good master died of a heart attack. Heart attack caused by the departed, most likely. How many times have I greeted the night here? And it's Michiho.
Which I'm to ask if you made any progress with your investigation. I'm curious. I'm fine with the school now. I'm coming out. It is kind of odd though. So, Michio intentionally. Possessed herself with. The Slith Maurid souls. Uh, yeah, Slith Maurid Kashima soul. During that time. Sit across the room we build in. Nice to know we are glowing red. Given the lack of commotion right now, I think nobody's noticed yet. School front gate. Mitch is waiting in front of the main gate. The moment she sees me, she is over like a puppy. Hello, deported. My name is Ryashki. I'm tired too. Not surprised though. How are you feeling? Same old, same old. The bit tired since I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Well, I forgot. I got a call from Miss Sakamoto earlier. Did you call her again? No, the opposite. She apologized. Okay, here you go. Here's the first difference. She apologized because she felt like she want she went too far about the stuff with you. It's because of what I said to her. To her. How very kind of her to make in immediate actions after she changed her mind. Isn't that great, Mr. Yashki? She won't be she won't be picking on you anymore. Actually, it's your opposite. <laughs> she won't get targeted anymore. Because again, the first reason she got targeted in the first place is. She's way too mean. Mean. On Yashki. And now she's not gonna get targeted anymore. Not a lot, but... Tell her about the story of the reported rats and I heard from Abe. Rats have been reported. They sound like something... Fantasy novel. You should have them deal with the teachers. Okay. I think that caught my attention. I remember Emton coming up in one of the cases somehow. Okay, this is the Slith Maori Kashima. Bus route map. Sure, have a good memory. Not exactly. It's only not because of this. This is the second time I'm going through this. You're coming with me. Of course I am. But don't you have a curfew? No need to worry. Himi can handle it. Is it Himi or... Maybe they really don't need to worry about the curfew at all. Because they have their ways. Okay, this I'm pretty sure this dialogue changed as well. There should be another line here mentioning Sakamoto. Now she's not now it's she's not here. There's a chance she might be reported. Not a chance. She's def definitely one of the reported. <laughs> okay, for this one, let's just check the mailbox and then we'll check the door.
It is locked though. Or never mind, we need to check the other things as well. Because the most important parts here are the mailbox and the door. Or maybe we didn't need we needn't we didn't need to check the vending machine. Maybe just the door, the, this door, and then the mailbox. Need to knock thrice. Seen something flash before my eyes. Not seen this. The blood, the bloodborne enemy. <laughs> okay, now that we have a lot more info to work with. Yeah, she, he's a descent. One of the descent of the M Town. Uh, you know, anyone who lives in M Town is gonna get cursed. All I see is bugs though. There's no mold. Oh, skip. So what happened? The owner of the shop was probably killed by the reporter's wrath. I described the mission I just saw to Michio. So the person that was being mourned was the old man we saw then. I guess so, yeah. But they had a mourning notice up, which means they had a funeral. That means his corpse must have been found. And this part pretty much explains just... Uh, how the reported chooses if the corpse disappears or not. <laughs> I mean, now that we know she's one of the reported, this is definitely what they're doing. They just actually did a body found at the school. At the school, the police will come. The chance that school will be closed and then there won't be any students. So they're just okay. so maybe they only discovered the corpse at the school. But Manabe's, Manabe's body also disappeared in the school. That was probably because you though. With that's corpse in the hospital, the cops probably would have arrested you in there. And that's also not something that a part wants. Then this ends my sloppy deduction. Actually, it, that ends her modus operandi. <laughs> thank you for thank you for listening. I knew that two girls had reported. How did you know? <laughs> I'm guessing you Google search Eric. By the way, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, press the skip button again. There's an old mailbox hanging at the wooden wall. I appear inside and I find a postcard. Sisters are right as long as you don't have a murder in mindset. <laughs> Sisters, all right. As long as they don't have a... What do you mean? They do have a murderer mindset. Do they? I, I, you know what? I'm not sure. 
Eric something, welcome to the stream. I I guess it is it is the obvious one. And yeah, yeah, the the game kind of forces you to like both of them. That's why I'm kind of sus. Indeed, Scooby Gang. Only one missing is Riri. So this postcard is the I mean it came from the previous headmaster. Donate an old book about M Town's ritual to the school. They did sus but hesitate. I mean I just wanted to know the other possibilities. I mean you know me. If there's an alternative path, I'm gonna take it. Even if it's a bad ending. Oh god, I keep on pressing. But, but yeah, but whatever. It, that, that wasn't important anyways. It's just the postcard and the the town uh, the shop owner donating a book. If I had to guess that book was was stored in the shelf inside the clock tower. No, honestly, in my case it's the opposite. If I do the good ending first and then do the bad ending, it kind of ruins the good ending in a way. So, as much as possible, I'm cleaning out the the bad ones. Because I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure you need, you're, you guys already know I read visual novels and that's what I do. I didn't want to believe cause waifus. I mean, don't be sad something. At least we haven't done the true ending yet. Who knows? Maybe they're still alive. I need your opinion on something that's related to the party. Mind if I talk about it? Why is she feeding again? I, I'm now that we know sh they're the departed. Why are they feeding us information? Six. What about the notices? I want to know what the purpose was for issuing those notices. The party seems for two ghosts around committing horrible acts for fun. They issued those notices with a goal in mind. There is a model. Uh, game volume. Okay, never mind. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, I reduced it way too much. There you go. 6.0. I got me all curious about it too. You have any ideas? Oh, yeah, sort of. I'm guessing that also applied to the first two. Nobu was too scared. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, okay? Actually, no, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. I'm gonna give my opinions regarding the game after getting the true ending. But I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this though. Just the short one. This game is not as scary as the first Deathmark 1. And it's also not as scary as Spirit Hunter NG. It, this, this game is very tamed compared to those. If you ask me. So honestly, I am not as scared. When I got used to the to, when I got used to the jump scares, it's not as scary. Yeah, it is good. But I, I like the mysteries in the previous games more. Izumi. So hang on. So the reason okay, let me just give my opinion here. Izumi got targeted because of his bloodline. Izumi is part of the ritualist. That happened in yeah the marriage so that pretty much means izumi can sense the ghost how much the stream is workplace for a true horror game you know what it's gonna be a hor it's gonna be a horror because i might get fired for streaming sensitive information regarding my work could be a headache for noble 
Not really, no. But unfortunately, Izumi might have the bloodline, but unfortunately, he's not strong enough. He's not built different. It is weird though. Why did the... How did the... Departed know? Like, first of all, how did they know they... We can, I mean, Yashki can sense ghost. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Man, I sure have a good imagination, right? Maybe I can be a novelist or something. Uh, not really, no, because you're the, you're the actual culprit. Yeah, yeah. And this is a part where she's gonna say, "Eat you" or something. It's because the doll was cursed by the party. Again, oh my god, so... <laughs> the doll was cursed by the reported. It's it's the other way around. The reported cursed the doll. Previously, she said the thought that the reported was female doll. I guess she turned by the opinion. Somehow I can... So this one's a lie to some degree. It is a lie to some degree. Probably I've been long for an Eddie husband for no for no so long. He found you. And this one's true as well. Even though it's a bit disturbing. <laughs> And this one's true as well. I'm guessing they intentionally change eat. I mean, bite to eat. Just so we're not too suspicious. What is your teacher? Okay, so at chapter 7, we're gonna skip that. I mean, we're gonna skip the text for that part because chapter 7 is insanely long. I'm not skipping chapter 6 because this chapter is really short. I think the part did this, but I could be wrong. This is a real freak trying to join me. The part thinks you're the ideal husband, right? Specific animal is true and <laughs> we shall see if there's actually a specific animal there. Yeah, Michio and Michio and Dorio disappeared when they were checking out the clock tower a few months ago, I think. Because again, the, the departed is waiting for a proper vessel. And again, it, it is kind of sad. Just they want to do, I mean, the, the student council want to do something good, but they died because of that. Yeah. Okay, we're heading to the library. And check this out. Yes. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? There is nothing new here, I think. So let's just skip the text. So for this part, we're just looking for that book. 
that the postcard mentioned. No, it's not the clock tower. This is taking way too long. Okay, so this is the next important part. So, something was so concerned yesterday that we're harming Michiho in a way. But at, at that part, we, we still don't know they're the departed. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be defensive. No, no, they, we, we cannot. The game doesn't give you an option to team up with them. I mean, you cannot harm anyone. I mean, you, you cannot harm them because in the first place, they're, they're deported. But we didn't know that. So... For this port again, we're gonna we're gonna go defensive. In the original, in the original route, actually, you know, you know what, you know what? Scratch that, scratch that. So. Even if you go defensive, it, it will work. But it's not exactly going to do anything in the original route because Sakamoto is still in danger. You're pretty much stuck with the original route. But now, we did one of the requirements for the true ending. So, we're pretty much safe here. Okay, we're safe to do the defensive choices. We're not gonna kill you. We're gonna go defensive. Because that is the way to go. You mean what I did in the original choices? Didn't we... Okay, so what I did was I threw a wrench at the departed. And then I went defensive with the crowbar. Perpetrate. Not exactly. They were punished. They reported. Killed them. What happened is the. Anyone who's a descendant of M Town will get killed the same way as the deported die. How the deported die. So with molds and bugs. So in a sense they got punished. Okay here black and wrench threatened to throw. Not throw what the reported threatened to throw. These are important choices. If I don't if I don't do this these choices, we're not gonna get the true ending. Threaten to throw. Yes. I'll try showing the wrench near the party's feet. The wrench hit the reporter's feet instead of hitting the floor near their feet. The sound of the reporter's scream earlier seemed strange to me. It's Mechio's scream. And next up is not swing downward but take a defensive stance. Our goal is to not deal severe damage. But unfortunately, I'm getting this feeling that the, the scene where Machio dies, quotation mark, it's still gonna play.
Look at that. She did die. Best girl all bloody with bugs on her. <laughs> So if I'm guessing the one talking right now is Doryo. Doryo or Michio herself, or maybe both of them. Yeah, yeah that's Michio indeed. She that was Michio. There is a situation. Okay, that was fast though. Ima I mean, Doryo was inside the clock tower earlier, right? Because obviously the report was there. But then again, that might be a hallucination. But if Doryo was actually inside the clock tower, then she moves fast. Because <laughs> you might just see him in the connecting corridor. Old. Okay, nothing matters here. Just, just in case we're gonna save but this is a sort of chapter 7 It's really annoying because we don't have any information to work with. I mean, when, when we needed to decide who exactly are the deported, we don't have any solid information. We just have hunches instead. When you actually manage to get the information, everything's done. Like the one with the the the, the first headmaster's journal. That's the that's the document you needed to make a decision. But unfortunately, you don't you don't get that at all for finishing the game. That is. So for this one, I'm going to skip it because this is going to take long. Chapter 7 is extremely long. That's what she said. Could be out of ADS. Yes. Uh, music on the for Faculty room. When I enter the faculty room, Mr. Konoba already is there. Already there with an exhausted look on his face. Okay, let's skip this. He's just going to be pissed off again. Happened to Kinokawa. Don't know. Okay, here's another new dialogue. Is Miss Ramoto not here today? She actually came today, but she had to leave early because she was feeling under the weather. Her face was really pale and even standing upright seemed to cause her an immense amount of pain. Drive it away. Unfortunately, we cannot. <laughs> I swear she must have, must have been possessed by a spirit as well. But Mr. Kanoe and the students don't look so good. They don't seem to be suffering as much as Sakamoto. 
Maybe some malicious disease spreading on our campus. You're not wrong. <laughs> More like malicious ghost. Okay, okay, here, here it goes. So the difference is... Sakamoto was supposed to lodge a complaint in a piece of paper, right? But it didn't happen this time around. Rather than lodging a complaint, she just outright left. Although the ghost is affecting her much more compared to other people, but at least she didn't lodge a complaint. And Konoe didn't get pissed off for some reason. Probably, probably because of Sakamoto not pressuring him. Konoe, Konoe was supposed to scream at us. So far, there's only minor changes. Infirmary. Scary. That face still. That face still freaking scares me. Yeah, yeah, prof moment. What do you mean a prof moment? <laughs> Hang on. It's, I'm. I'm. Am I missing something? <laughs> okay, this situation is affecting me. Uh, huh, we're supposed to do something here. This is only this is the only disadvantage of skipping. <laughs> okay, clock tower. Okay, so we need to do something in the clock tower as well. No, I, I'm just getting this feeling something is making a pun. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm th I'm thinking way too much. Profound. Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> Something enlighten us if you're making a, a pun, because if you are making a pun, I'm kind of missing it. <laughs> Professional, maybe. Yeah. Uh... Oh God, you're not scaring me anymore. Shoo. A famous of here once again. Okay, I'm not gonna skip this part because there's something in there. Oh god, did I just there's some did I just say there's something in there? Something is inside the clock tower. <laughs> okay, we need to do something here for the true ending. Let me just read this. After going to the clock tower for sound chapter. With Himeko, select the vaguely choice when prompted. I think professional fits. We all we all had a prof that gave us an angry testament. Having to them before you do more <laughs> cold dips. No, you cannot. Let's go, Mr. Ashley. Yeah. The door is half open. That means we can go inside. So yeah, this pretty much confirms Himiko and Michio can pretty much open the door at, at will. I can fix them. Can you now? I'm the one fixing them right now. <laughs> By following a not so visible guide. Ugh. Body's not there though. Mr. Ashki, with the body disposal of her corpse. 
dispose of her corpse, she says. More like hiding. Something on her feet, Doria walks towards the area where the chill collapsed. Mitchell was the best friend I ever had. She might have seemed selfish to you, but she was actually a real caring person. Even when she decided to be the student council vice president, she only did it to help me out. She didn't even really want to be a student council member. Yes, we were friends even before we entered the kinder even before we entered kindergarten, our parents were close. But of us are the only children, so we became friends quickly. Wanted to have siblings, we often played sisters. Sister. She continues rambling until your voice gradually fades. I shared everything with you. My hobbies, future dreams, and troubles I hid from other people. Even my crush. I mean, we don't worry already who, who that is. Okay, so this one's a new option. Actually, it's not even a new option, but it's a required option. I did choose vaguely last time as well. I think that's weird. It's not very common. But that to me is impossible. Five years ago at that school, there was a tragic love story between the teacher and the students. No can help regardless of your situation. It doesn't matter whether you believe the love is accepted or not. I'm relieved to hear that. You're still the same as ever. A teacher who harbors romantic feelings for the students is the worst. It's not like I want you to accept your feelings. I just want to reckon I will just want you to recognize what she's love. And considering she's deported, she's acting quite well. Obviously, in order to do that, we need to decipher the old book we found here. Okay, we're skipping. How? Let me let me just double check. Okay, so the next. The next important option is gonna take a while. We're just gonna play through normally. Play through chapter 7 normally, I mean. Actually, I can, I can just do this. Hang on. God, it's so hot. Why is it so hot? You know, if I'm saying it's hot, then it is extremely hot. Because Filipinos are built in a way we can, wherein we can withstand the hot weather. And I'm saying it right now, it is hot. 
Like, I, I've been sweating non-stop for God knows how many days already. And... Ugh, God, it is hot. Stop, do you stop Uh, I'm gonna stop much just in case. Respect Machio. Yes, no... I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna visit the Michio's. I mean Michio's room in the, in the dormitories. So Mitch, I mean, Dorio was actually getting Michio's room, yeah, Michio's room keys here. She didn't really change any clues at all in her room. Yoshi. If that's okay, then she didn't really care. Yoshi. If we learn anything here, more like it's probably part of the test. Now that frog though, that frog inside that cage, that was extremely important. Because that saved us during the last fight. And then, yeah, there being an eerie tooth inside the room, it, it is a red flag hmm. already. I kind of wonder though, what if we mm -hmm. checked Dorio's room? Will that also give us... Yes. And w will that also hmm. make it obvious that she's one of the deported? Yes. No sign of life in this room. There's a lot of frogs. She'd become the reported. That's right. Wow, you are acting quite well. <laughs> No, it can't be. It is. Out of all the people, you're the one who should know. <laughs> no more. like to know more but like, I don't want to play hell diver suddenly Can I come with you? Uh, how about... I I'm, I'm playing it safe here. I'm not... Because the guy doesn't mention anything regarding this option, but... Uh, let's just choose what I chose in my last playthrough. Now, 
no no you you, you don't you don't ask her to come because the other people here are gonna protest we're gonna head inside the forest and it's kind of dangerous for okay now that you mentioned it that that, that does um, that does make sense but what's gonna happen is the other people are gonna protest they're gonna say a high schooler shouldn't enter the school the forest Nothing's gonna change, unfortunately. Basically, the game, the game is giving you an illusion of having a choice, but... You don't really have a choice. <laughs> I mean, most of the options are like that in this game. Yeah, he does sacrifice himself. But he managed to escape. He manages to escape because the departed is gonna back off at some point in the chase. He lives anyways. Okay, okay, okay. So here's another dialogue change. When we entered the forest, we were supposed to see Sakamoto, right? Miss Sunshine. But since Sakamoto... Um, took a leave from school she's not here anymore because in the first place she's not getting targeted by the deported because she said sorry look at that Sakamoto's totally safe no no reset Okay, so we just need to head inside the snake route. You know what? You know what? The first time I chose... And then we went deep prompt when we check out the rock. The first time I... Yeah, the first time I encountered that prompt, I chose bear, but apparently it's cat. Which is... It, it, it is nice, because... Whenever a cat hisses, it does sound like a snake. Tidlak niya lakan apinya. What does that mean? Tidlak niya lakan apinya. Did I read that properly? Yes. Turn on fire. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, am I? Dosta. Hmm. Yeah, the first time around I went here, I thought we we're gonna light up the lanterns, but apparently not. What we needed to do is follow the snake route. Wait, this is the first time I've seen this. I feel smuggy but it's not so indescribable with the two spawns all over my body. Oh wow, I did not know that. Okay, wait a minute. I'm I'm missing something here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Never, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I skipped a step. Okay, I skipped a freaking step. Before entering the forest, we need to check out the 
the fox in yeah the fox statue in the school we're not supposed to go here yet boy this one's taking even if i'm skipping these text it, it is taking quite long still So we need to check out the fox shrine and get some cleaner. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're supposed to get some clues how to enter the two shrine, but unfortunately there's mold. In the in that statue, we, we we cannot read the text, so we need to we need some cleaners from Dorio. And my God, it is so hot! Ugh. Wait, how okay, Eric? How hot is it on your side? Like here in the Philippines, it is just atrocious. Whenever I try lying down, I'm sweating. I don't know. Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not vacuum cleaner we're looking for. It's bleach. But yeah, it is so hot in the Philippines. Not too hot now. We what I am just quite jealous. Because it's so hot, and if it's so hot here in the Philippines, like if if I'm lying down, I'm still sweating for some reason. It's like a freaking sauna. Yes. Then again, I haven't th I haven't taken a haircut just yet. That's probably why. My hair is still long, and if your hair is much more longer, then you're definitely gonna sweat much more. Things of climate are changing starts in April or May. Okay, still April. If you had to guess, maybe the Temperature is gonna go back to normal on May. People in your place are hot. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess Filipino girls are kinda attractive, if you ask me. Well, that's that's just me, but people Filipino girls are unusually attractive. Dry season indeed. You know why I know? Because I am drying up. <laughs> I'm drying out from the freaking heat. I see some. <laughs> Wait, is it? Is that a reference to right, Riri? I mean, close enough. Cause the first time around, I mean, you you read Riri's name. I mean, I, I read it as right right way back then, but when she mentioned it's Riri, that's that's when I got bamboozled. Three season. Okay, we're supposed to check a lantern uh, statue here. I'm, I'm not sure which one, so we're just gonna check all of them. Run, run, run! Oh my god, it is gonna take a while.
The goal is we need to replace the that flower from the other box. You know, see, I uh, I seriously want to eat ice cream right now, but I mean, just so I can cool down. But I'm kind of watching my calories because, dear God, I'm fat. Really, really properly, really twenty twenty four. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not unless there's a what is this? Not unless there's an ice cream that doesn't give that much calories. I would like that. Oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna freaking die. I, I missed that. Oh, here it is, here it is. God, I almost died. Okay, so what we need to check out here is we don't need to check these tombstones. Or not unless you guys want a jump scare. Do you want a jump scare? I can check it out. <laughs> That's all you get a tooth and a jump scare if you check that tombstone. Yes. Okay, you know what? Just for laughs, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do the jump scare. Cause why not? Ooh, headless ghost. Yes, you get so that. And we're done. <laughs> okay, I, I just wanted to show it. You got you, you got scared though, Eric, didn't you? <laughs> What's your death head count? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna say this again. I'm gonna freaking say this again. This game is much more... Much more... Tame. Yeah, it's, it's much more tame compared to the previous games. To the point that I'm gonna say it's not that scary compared to the pre previous ones. The previous ones are much more harsher. Okay, there's a part where we have to sacrifice Mashta. Your spiritual power not at 100. Nope, it's not. I mean, we can, we can, I mean, we can, com we can collect the tooth to get that one, I mean, to increase it, but I'm not willing to do that. God, it is disturbing still seeing this. Imagine getting hopes like people said you're gonna get married, but rather than getting married, you're gonna get you're gonna eat you're gonna get eaten by bugs, not to mention your diet will be molds for god knows how long. And this is the start of the departed's wrath. Goes before bros. <laughs> I mean, it's his. It's his idea. <laughs> so the ugly part of me. Okay, we're gonna play Valorant, Valorant for this part. We need to shoot it twice. One in the body and then one 
in its head. The chances are set to 100, so I'm not even concerned. Yes. Were you killed here? Ah, uh, I think I did it. Did I? I? I don't remember. I mean, look look at that body. It, it is so wide. How could you miss? Yeah, look at that head. Okay, some I, uh, maybe I did get killed, but I kind of remember remember having so much health at this point that I didn't die. Okay, our bow's gonna sacrifice himself, but fortunately he survives. Wait, option. W what do you mean option? You mean the suspensive acro options, right? Or something else? Oh, right, right, right. I think it didn't, I, I think it, the options doesn't matter for that part I mean Okay, I think we're about to yeah, we're about to finish finally. There god, that took a while. I, I thought this stream is going to be short. <laughs> Even if I'm skipping the text, it, it took quite long still. So I think the the options doesn't matter which one you choose. The first cho I mean during my first playthrough I chose the second one. And it's still and then after choosing the first option Yeah 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 indeed. I j I just tried out the opposite op I mean the other option I didn't choose in my first playthrough. But it, nothing happened, yeah. No, nothing changed. But hang on, hang on. We, we're not sure. Maybe that's both Michio and Doryo. Maybe they can only do that for, I mean, do that appearance if they combine. <laughs> combine. With your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Actually, never mind. I am the Deported. Captain Deported. She's a villain. Match at disappearance, red and lights in the building. Okay, we're done.
Mm, right, right. Okay, here goes the... Here goes the true ending. We're gonna skip the battle part as well. Not unless there's a new dialogue there. Fortunately, the game stops the skip option. If you haven't seen the text. Oh, look at this, look at this. Look at this. So the, the dialogue changed again. Naomi Hirokoshi and Shinichi Kakuta. They're no longer here. I couldn't protect them. I'm guessing he's not gonna suspect Sakamoto anymore. Chase my guts and she wants my she wants me gone from the school. Which is Isako was the what reported to search she, so she's out. It's not you. The female lodge would be would seem suspicious. We're eaten by a mushikabi. We were eaten by Mujikabe. Okay, now, now that we have enough information, that makes sense. The last word is magic ritual scene, I saw a moment. The deported. The deported. Not the deported. Suspect, suspecting the female doll is actually a bad ending. You're not supposed to do that. I haven't encountered any jump scares. Someone your pawns now. <laughs> uh, I, I would have done. I would have done that. <laughs> but unfortunately, we cannot. Unfortunately, the Yashki is not the arisen. <laughs> the game has been throwing out a lot of jump scares. I don't know why. Okay, here comes the actual fight. We we already know what's gonna do. We we already know the proper option, so it should be easy. Nothing's gonna change in the fight. Honestly, Doryo kind of looks like one of those analog horrors. Her appearance earlier.
Genshin. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this appearance makes her beautiful. I mean, she's far from it, that's for sure. Okay, uh, dried up frog, look towards insect. For this one, we're gonna eat porcelain. I, is porcelain even edible? Like, that is. It's not that dangerous. Female doll's head. Eat a little bit. Is it porcelain or plastic? I mean, I, I don't know what dolls are made of. Maybe wood, plastic, porcelain. Because, uh, <laughs> isn't that lethal? Like, kind of dangerous okay next up is present the clothes Carefully. That is supposed to be that's supposed to represent the red thread or crimson thread, I think. And then next up we're gonna splatter her mouth with Red ink. God, I imagine touching that mouth, dear God. This guy. Smear on the departed's teeth. Yes. Would you even. Would you have the courage of shoving your hands in there? I mean, I won't. But not unless it. Not unless it will save my life. I might just be willing to do that. No, it's a it's a teeth. Um, the document mentions in the I mean M, M Town does um marriages a little bit differently. So the first I mean first off you need to present the girl with a uh, red ver, I mean vermilion thread I think. Vermilion cream yeah no never mind crimson thread. And then after that I I remember this part because it, it's so weird. You need to um, color the girl's teeth with lipstick. Is it lipstick or ink? Somewhere, yeah, somewhere like that. It's this. Where is that? Where is that? Basically, it's, it's somewhere in this. I mean, there's a document in my inventory right now that mentions that. Okay, here. Here you go. Here you go. Here comes the true ending. You guys watch carefully now. Because I am watching as well. This doesn't happen in the first playthrough. It, I mean the bell didn't toll. What should I do? So... We need to return to the clock tower. Ignore it and leave will lock us to the default ending. So we need to return.
The party's ending has been added to the spirit file. Eventually, Mayumura sisters who took Michio and Doryo's bodies were the corporates. They long for a happy marriage with their chosen groom, even after death. But I can't be their real husband. I hope the red thread and lipstick were enough to fulfill their wishes. There goes in my vision work school age. Actually, I already read this, so let's just leave. There's something strange on the first floor. Maybe it's coming from upstairs. What is that noise? Hear the sound of someone on the ladder coming from above. Oh, Kami-sama. Give me a break. It should be over already. The sound then moves to the first floor. And what comes down from above is... You gotta be kidding me. What? He make a door you. It's you, okay, no how. Can't be. The part is who should have been saved. Why are you here? What if you shouldn't be here? Um, what? 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. L let me guess. They don't know us. If you had to guess, th these are the original Himeko Doyo and Michio Hinokawa. Just because of the fact that we don't, they don't know us. After that. What do you mean let's go something? They don't know us. I bring the two confused girls back to the infirmary. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that's what happened, Eric. And then... Together with Yasuoka and Mashta, who survived being attacked by the reported, they asked the girls what happened. It's an informative conversation. They're the real Doryo and Michio, not the reported. Neither of them know how they ended up in the clock tower. Their memory stopped in August with... Okay, that makes sense. It's because... I don't know, because the, the memories made by the... I mean, the memory... Okay, let me let me rephrase that. No will have a harem. There's no harem if they don't know me. <laughs> Cause after August, they I mean the deported kinda like stole their identities. So they're not they're not supposed to have that memory. The both of them were complete strangers. This is the first time we've ever met. That is sad, but I guess that's for the best. These are real ones are back. But when he discovers the students are alive, a gentle relieved really smile what is across his face. Well at least, at least he doesn't have any headaches to deal with. Cause Himiko and Michio are alive and Sakamoto didn't die. He touches my hand and profusely thanks me over and over again. I asked Mr. Konoe to take care of Doryo and Michio, and then I leave the infirmary. Both of them seem like they're generally the real girls, however, they don't know you. Okay, actually, now that you mention it, why is Michio's hair still white and Doryo having the mark? Indeed, it is a good ending. A bittersweet one, that is. Sad but happy. I mentioned to Yasuok and Masha as we're heading out. 
Oh, really? What? Okay, this still applies. The only one who can see them, I mean, the abnormality, I mean, it's only... Yashki. Okay, I'm kind of wonder if they can see it, see it themselves. Both of them have been controlled by the Departed for a long time. I wouldn't be surprised if a trace of the Departed is to remain on their bodies. I don't like the sound of that at all. Is there anything I can do? Let's see. I guess you should probably... Oh, okay, that's even more sad. They don't know you and you cannot talk to them as well. You should probably not talk to them. Oh. If the report really was saved, the mark and white hair was, will eventually disappear. But if they meet you, the reporter rem remnants might stir again. Nothing good will come of that. Your best course of action would be not to meet them, you understand. Okay, that is just... <laughs> even more sad. You understand, she says. But okay, let's just answer but but <laughs> Let's leave the rest to me, alright? This is over, there's no need to for you to talk with them again. Besides, it's not it's not like they know you either. That's true. I can take over now. How can you take over something? How? They have a capability of entering games. <laughs> and what happened? What happened that caused a surprising outcome? I have no way of knowing. It's a matter of surprise. That surprised human comprehension. I don't really mind not knowing though. The most important thing is that they're alive and well. Even if they have lost their memories. Let's just serve it that miracle. Yeah, we we take the we take the W. Whatever W we can. Okay, thank god we can skip the credit scene. The MC single like noble. I don't have any issues with that, Eric. As a matter of fact, I'm happy with that because I don't have any additional. I don't have any additional monetary responsibilities. <laughs> no. I feel both endings is sad. It, it, it is. Hang on. There's still another cutscene here. I mean, there's another scene here. Kind of like in Marvel movies. A week has passed since that night. Oh, wait, Riri. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Riri. Welcome to the stream. Oh, God. Did I just... Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't... Wrong button. Wrong button. You didn't say anything. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> It's me, Shuji Diamond. We're feeling Yashki. That should be my line. Okay, here comes the Scooby Gang. Are we gonna call the community community Scooby Gang now? <laughs> We're still in K Hospital. Where's the camera? I'm 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 intentionally hiding it because I'm shy today. So, no face cam. <laughs> If I'm shy, then there's no face cam. I was discharged. What? Okay, right, nice. Two days ago, most of this recovered. Mr. Gunaway told me some stuff. I thought he might be curious to hear what he had to say. So I just wanted to phone you up and share it with you. 
Diamond proceeds to tell me what happened at Konehara Academy after the case. Even though the report was now gone, that, it, that, that didn't change the fact that the four students went missing in a short period of time. Well, at least it's four. In the original route, it's what? Six? Seven? Including Sakamoto? At least it's just four. <laughs> Mr. Kanobi resigned from his position. Oh, damn. So he still resigns. That sucks. I mean, imagine doing everything everything you can, but you still you still forced to resign. Doesn't have many regrets. Diamond was also given the first headmaster's journal. The relative of Mr. Kanoe found at, her, at their home. He said there were some interesting things written on it, so he'd, so he'd bring it by sometime. Her breathe this. <laughs> In about Doryo and Kinukawa, in the end, the police didn't pursue the case per the wish of their parents in the school. Wishes of their parents in the school, that's good. We're doing well. We also have been speaking to a counselor, though we haven't seen any particular unusual behavior. I don't braid my hair, okay? <laughs> that's a relief. What about the two months of memory they lost? I mean, I'm always shy, Eric. I'm always shy. They've been diagnosed with memory impairment. They don't remember any either of us. Makes sense. That's for the best. If they remember us, not only your build connections are rewarded. Everything's good as long as you're alive. I understand that feeling now. If only you were a doctor. <laughs> Two souls who should have been claimed were saved. As a spirit doctor, you should pro should be proud of your work. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That, that's the reason. No, I didn't brain. I didn't braid them. The reason why I didn't have my face cam on is. I don't want the additional heat coming from my studio lights. Catch you later, Yashiki. Phew. Knowing those two are safe and sound is more than enough for me. Yeah, definitely. You really should understand that. Yeah, understand that part. It is, it is so hot, yeah, yeah. Imagine studio lights and the heat coming from my PC and the temperature in the Philippines, it is just abysmal. Maybe he's half naked. No, I'm not half naked, okay. There's a doorbell. Hmm, I wonder who they are. The computer chaining with Ada is tomorrow. If I remember correctly, it's the time already. When I open the front door. Hey, why are you here? Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. You should leave, I think. The cheer and lawyer are standing in front of me. How is this possible? Sorry for visiting you this late. You're Yashki, right? Thank you for saving us every day. Yeah, the last thing I want is them turning into the deported again. Of course, something's happy. <laughs> what brings you here? I suddenly want to ask you. It's about our lost memories. Maybe, yeah, maybe Eric. Maybe that's the case. We heard some things from our friends in, in the dorm. He said Michio and I were helping out lo a lot recently. Is that true? We have no idea since we lost our memory. <laughs> what do I do here?
I mean, there's gonna be re repercussions if we... Okay, you know what? Be honest. Would you mind telling us what happened during that time? That's... Tell the truth. Lately, there's been this strange feeling lingering back in our minds. Be honest, Harem. <laughs> That's why I chose it. But then again, this is, a, this is an illegal Harem, by the way. These are students and we're, uh, we're an adult. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, look at this. Lately, there's been a, there, there's a strange feeling in the back of my mind. We wanted to figure out what it was since we think it might have something to do with our memory loss. FBI indeed. <laughs> Don't call the FBI, this is a secret. So like... I've always been into frogs, but out of nowhere I've come to love bugs. Okay, oh yeah, there's... The traces are still there, definitely. And that's weird. It is weird. <laughs> Guys, c come on. The MC is around, around his 20s already. Well, these girls are still students. I think this kind of relationship is... Kind of relationship is not what you... It's not normal. Please, no mention of bugs. <laughs> Unfortunately, bugs are, bugs are a staple of this game. <laughs> Did you really watch them all? Wow. Thank you for that. <laughs> what are you gonna do if you regain your memory? What if you learn those missing memories aren't as blissful as you think? Still. You still want them back. Why? There's repercussions if that happens, so you understand that. I can't betray my emotions, but internally I'm smiling, Riley. Really or Riley? Age doesn't matter for her. Okay, okay. That's one of, that's one way of putting it. Five months ago, I also went in search of memories that I had lost. I understand their need to know for more than they realize. But. I can't support their efforts. This is what's this is what's best for them and everyone else. Sorry about their son. Okay, good. Good. Yashki says Yashki is pushing them away. That's good. I mean that's the that's the best. That's for the best. Does in your dorm have a curfew? You better go home. We break the curfew all the time. That doesn't matter, bother us. And I also broke the curfew when we were expecting M Town Shop. She remembers that. Wait, why does she remember that? Now she's surprised. Our memories from the reported command deer, their bodies slowly resurfacing as they speak with me. There's a worst case scenario. I can't afford to waste any more time with politeness. I don't feel like talking anymore. Go home, Kinokawa. Kinokawa, Toyo. Just like no. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, they're relentless. They want to know what happened, but. If they know what happens, then it's gonna be bad. Wait a minute, I feel like I remember something. Get off here now. But... Why did you... Oh my god, why did you use her first name? Huh. Well, shit. Quite really shit. What have you done? Tensions got high, and in the moment I let something slip. 
just call me Michigo. Her first name. That's not how you speak to me. Call me Mich Oh god, she remembers. But for some reason... Wait, is she departed now? Call me Michigo. You should promise me that, Mr. Yashiki. She remembers. No. I turned into the party, didn't I? Wonder why you're talking about Michigo. Not just me, but him as well. Come on, you remember it too, Hime. The okay. <laughs> the love we had when we were deported. Love. And now she remembers. Okay, I might just get arrested here. <laughs> okay, deported. I remember everything even when we went to the clock tower together no way I can't believe how easily they regained their memories as they reported I feel it in Chris Hall and I accept that there's nothing more than I can that can be done two wives guys remember how old they are <laughs> This line of thinking is dangerous. You should remember that. Yashki saw them naked. To some degree. Yeah, they did. It's too late for regrets. That being said, the best way forward is now is to support them and try to steer, steer them toward the right path. It's better if they don't combine. The girl's going to drink the coffee I brewed for them. It's your second time making us coffee, huh? Brewed coffee is much better than instant ones. 7% gonna watch the wood. Yeah, sure, something to you. Thank you for dropping by. It's really delicious, maybe actually. You don't have to call me that. I'm not your teacher anymore. It's a habit I can't seem to shake even if I was only doing it while I was controlled by the board. Same. I don't, I don't know. Maybe... Okay, I'm just gonna assume they aren't the reported. They really are the original Michio and... Dorio, maybe. They seem to be a lot more relaxed now. But, okay, so they are the original Michio and Dorio, but they have the Departed's memories as well. And probably feelings as well. They certainly have an amazing ability to adapt to what life threw at them, seeing how Michio just accepted that she was suddenly a bug lover. I guess they must have prepared themselves for with whatever they've learned after getting their memories. How to have <laughs> responsibly to memories. Sure, I guess. No, Dorio Michio. There's a few things I'd like to ask you, do you mind? Sure, go ahead. You're probably curious about a few things that we can answer, right? That's Mary. <laughs> No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. It's more like FBI. <laughs> sure, go ahead. That's right. Just ask away. Don't hesitate. We also want you to know about the reporters. Okay, so now we have direct access to the reporters' memories. Ask about their health. Same as usual. If anything, I feel much more refreshed now. It feels like the fog in my head is cleared up. I'm worried about this white hair though. It stands out way too much. 
Other people don't see that. 13 years different. <laughs> okay, I'll take note. Okay. I'll take note of that. Wait, are we? I guess it's supposed to be that a part is marked or something. Yeah. Just, just competing thing, things together. The Mayumura sisters have had boost resembling mold all over their bodies and their hair loss is quarter. As they gain more corpse like the mark and hair must have originated from pitiful demise of the two sisters. This sucks. Hope my hope my hair will go back to normal. Stop complaining, Michio. It's really a miracle that we're still we're even still alive. Yeah, you're right. Ask about the departed memories. How much of the departed memories can you recall? Not everything. I guess we pretty much remember the most unforgettable moments. Just to have their painful memories. Yes. But we don't feel any negative emotions from them because you saved their souls. The painful stuff they experienced in the past just feels like a story or movie now. I have a sigh of relief. That's good. Well, at least that, that confirms that the original Michio and Doryo are in control. Times when the old woman is older than, older than a man. That happens, definitely. If loading the bride's foot during the wedding ceremony somehow remain in both of them, it's gonna be dangerous. Your psyches would have been crushed under that weight. Except for the painful memories, I still pretty much remember how I thought about some stuff. Now, quiet but love. How I love bugs and the part is love for you. I, I, I am curious though. Did that feeling also pass over? Michio. <laughs> Looks like it did. There's no point in hiding anymore, Hime. It's not like we can do anything about it. These feelings belong to the burden. It can't get married because of their memories. They have a point. Okay, so they have their feelings still. I'm, I'm kind of wondering why, I, why aren't they bothered with that? With that? This whole thing's been reported. I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Receive the reported souls. During their final moments, they gave us our bodies back. Why, though? <laughs> the game read my mind. Why? It's a pretty strong feeling. Indeed, Yashki's responsible. It's something I thought I thought you left while you're still here. <laughs> They're grateful to you and they wanted you to, you to know it. Like they really, really wanted you to know it. <clears throat> you might find this suspicious, but do you know why we were able to get our lives back? It's because the border was completely smitten by you. At least that's what I believe. Oh my god, what, what a lady killer. Actually, not, not lady killer. Ghost killer. <laughs> Good, this shouldn't take long. I'm not gonna rush it, but it, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Welcome back, something. Love created a true miracle. I don't know what to feel about all of this. I guess it means all the struggles I had to go through it to act as their husband will work to the end. By the time I finish asking all my questions, it's gonna be late. Scooby Gang Vice Press. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to us, Mr. Ashki. And for the copy as well. I truly enjoy the rich smell now, as well as the complex bit of notes later. That is quite a complex way to describe it. I'll get you back to the door, it's very late. 
I tried to talk to your door man manager about the curfew breaking as well. <laughs> I tried to talk to your door manager about the curfew breaking as well. No need to mind that. The best women you could. <laughs> that is right, yeah. We can rely on the reported for that. Except for the time they've killed four people. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Yashkin. I'm sorry for everything. I have no idea how these memories are going to affect you. So if you start to feel something strange or even weird, make sure to contact me. Got it? Understood. I might come here even if I have no business, though. <laughs> Want to drink your delicious coffee? Okay. <laughs> No, I don't need the reported no. <laughs> oh jeez. Both Michio and Doyer were saved. Which means unknown why the reported saved them both. No. Although they said the reported was grateful to me without that. It's just a hunch, but the reported might have entrusted both their memories and love to those two girls. The dead do not only leave behind resentment, there are also times when they hope their when their hopes and dreams linger on as well. Even if it was something that the reported decided on a whim, it doesn't change the fact that those two girls are alive and breathing. Yeah, their age, exactly. That, that's the main concern, the age. <laughs> I mean, it might be fine with you guys, but with society, not really. <laughs> Some of my actions were able to save the lives that were impossible to save. The spirit doctor who saves both living and the dead. If I can be the light for those who are trapped in darkness, then I will be the spirit doctor and I will re reach out with my hand to them. Okay, that's the ending. Okay, here's my two cents regarding this game. I didn't do this in the last stream because that's not the true ending. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, uh, characters departed. God damn it. A mysterious entity rumored to be hiding in the school. I was called here to look into them and death notices they've sent. Rumors of vengeful spirits and disappearance were terrifying the students. My notes about their identity, background, EDC are in the next section. Wish for a happy marriage. Okay, once I begin to look into the future. The reported, the reported profile, two months active period. Searching for your dear husband. Grass sickle. Dear husband, can I bite you? You're in the way. Okay, how about. Let's see, let's see. Me, okay. Wait, did I, did I just. Okay, never mind. I, I thought I saw a ghost. It's just my mouse cursor. Michio <laughs> Kenokawa. Why is it incomplete? Say okay, whatever. Okay, here's my two cents. I'm gonna say this. This is this game is very tame. I, I did say this already, but it's not as scary as the first 
Deathmark and Spirit Hunter and G. That's some odd way to do a piggyback ride. <laughs> okay, again, it's not as scary as Deathmark One. Deathmark One was so scary. Like, I'm not sure if it's it's rough. It's because I played that game first, but it's not as scary as Deathmark One and Spirit Hunter and G. It, those games are just I wouldn't say on steroids, but it's much more scary than this. This game is pretty tame. Not to mention, I I don't like the side cursor part. I don't like that part, and the random the RNG part. I I I freaking hate them. I I'm I hate the RNG. I, I that's the reason why I like the previous games better. Now, is it good? Yes, I would say it's good. I I like the story. I like, I definitely like the twist. The one where in Michio and Doyo are the one who are the. The reported. I really like that plot twist. Like I, I, I did not see that, but then again, it was kind of obvious since the game is forcing you to like them. But still, it is very nice plot twist. I would definitely recommend it. If anyone's, if anyone want to read it, I can definitely recommend this game. Would be more on the E side. It is. I mean, it is a horror game after all. <laughs> I, I I had much more fun. I had fun as well. But. Okay. I'm going to let you guys decide. So like I mentioned. There are previous entries. That's Mark 1. And Spirit Hunter NG. I, I mean I can play those games. But I'm not sure if I should. Should I? I'm asking you guys. Because the thing is. What sucks is. The developer mentioned this is the last entry, which sucks. Cause again, I'm I'm not gonna. Okay, so there's there might be a chance I, I I'm gonna stream. That's that's Mark One, or Spirit Hunter NG. I'm not gonna spoil it anymore, but there are a lot of loose ends in the first game, and it's kind of weird that the developer just mentioned this will be the last entry. Cause honestly, it didn't really resolve. It didn't really resolve the issues in the first game. I, I I did accidentally mention some spoilers for the first game. Just forget about them. But yeah, it didn't really resolve the issue in the first game. I would jump on any Mr. Machine but <laughs> school again wants to go. Okay, you know what? If you guys are go, you know what? Let's play Death Mark 1. But I have other priorities though. Um, like for example, I haven't finished Dragon's Dogma 2 yet. I just decided to play this game because uh, honestly, I got I got this urge. So it's either I play Dragon's Dogma 2, Deathmark 1, or Elden Ring. There must be a beautiful girl character. There is. Ah. Uh, Actually, yeah, you know what? There is. There is. I, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it, but there is. I have a lot of I have a lot of things to say, but I cannot just talk about it because it, it, it's spoilers. Sorry. Except Bridget. <laughs> I mean, it, except Jail. I mean, if, if I mean, if Yashki marries the. <laughs> If Yashki marries the, both of those students, then we're gonna go to jail. We're not going hell divers with you. Understandable. So yeah, that's the choices here right now. Deathmark 1, Continue Dragon's Dogma 2, or finally start my Elden Ring save, at least for the PC version. Because... I need a save. I need a freaking save to use for El for the Elden Ring DLC. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, just to summarize everything, it was a nice experience. But it's kind of hard to say it's better compared to Deathmark 1, the previous entries, basically. It is very hard to compare it. Because honestly, it did a lot of things better. But some kind of I wouldn't say bad but it kind of fell short 
But yeah, that's that's my two cents. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. So yeah, see you guys in the next stream. Eric, Riri, and something. Thank you, for, thank you guys for dropping by. Thank you for watching the Deathmark series. And see you guys in the next stream, next game. Whatever it is. Actually, you know what? I might stream in a few minutes. I just need to eat dinner first and then I'm gonna decide which game I'm gonna stream. Just leave a comment which game you want to stream. Want me to stream, I mean. That's Mark 1, Elden Ring, or Dragon's Dogma 2. Or the next one that is, which is gonna be in a few minutes. I'm just, I'm just gonna eat dinner. OG still triumphs, indeed. Okay, see you guys in the next stream, and bye 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 bye. Can I take a bite? <laughs>